originally from Akron, Ohio. Grew up in the, uh, the rubber city, it's called. And uh, my dad worked for Goodyear, and my uncle worked for Firestone, and my other uncle worked for Goodrich. So we had all of the rubber companies covered when I was growing up. It's a great place to grow up as a kid. And, of course, LeBron's from there, so not a bad place. You know, I was in insurance for about 20 years, about 18 years, when I decided, you know, I really love teaching. I did some pre-licensing classes for the state, and I just always loved being in the classroom. And so I said, you know, it's, it's about time to cash out and do something I really want to do. And... So I cashed out and got my master's degree and started teaching adjuncting as many classes as I could. My first class was a communications class, speech class of all things. But I still fell in love with it and the students enjoyed what I had done and I had learned from some good mentors on how to do things in, in terms of assessment. And I thought, you know, this is, this is going to be a pretty nice gig to, to get going with it. And then I got my uh, first class was insurance and risk management, so I was talking about something I was very familiar with. And then a position with you, Mary, came open, and, and that was really my goal, was to get into a full-time institution. Strategic process goes through the strategic process, tactical process, and operations, and this is our upper management. You know, I've, I've only been outside the United States one time, and so when uh, Dr. Fleischhiker had talked to me about wanting to go over to Rome, we, my wife and I prayed on it, we talked on it, and we said, okay, this is a great experience, and we think you should do it. And uh, I, ne I, I never regretted once I made the decision that I was going to do it. There were a lot of reasons to say no, which is what my wife said. There's always a reason to say no. Uh, this is a great reason to say yes. And so I wanted to make it work. I, I wasn't sure what I would get out of it. In fact, I felt kind of selfish because I was getting so much out of it. But I know that I've brought a lot of that stuff back. Uh, I, I became more spiritually enriched. I feel that I'm stronger in my faith. I'm able to practice that much better. Prayer especially... Uh, really developed how, how to pray, and I pray more frequently uh, rather than a longer period of time, which was something that was um, noted by people, and, and St. Benedict said that as well, you know, pray frequently, and so I, I do that. And then the other thing that I did was I just, you know, physically enriched myself, mentally refreshed myself, and I came back with a, a zest and a zeal, so it wasn't even like a, a matter of, of missing the step or missing a beat. I feel that I came back and I'm, I'm stronger for my students. And I think that that's an important element that, that people kind of overlook is that you can go and you can become a little bit more spiritually refreshed and you become actually a better person than before you left. And that, to me, that's the key. So.